Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, June 2nd, and I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. My scripture today is from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. This is the word of the Lord. Did you see the Facebook post? It was a grandmother and her little granddaughter was staying with her and the granddaughter saw a UPS truck coming up the road and ran outside to see if it was her dad. Now the grandmother said, no honey, it won't be because we live in a different neighborhood than his route, but she wanted to see anyway. And she went outside and she waved to the man as he drove by. Well, she came back inside and told her grandma, no, that wasn't my daddy because this man had hair and my daddy is bald. Well, the next day, this UPS driver actually had to make a delivery. And when the grandmother opened the door, she just had to laugh. And she asked the driver to pose for a picture with her and with her granddaughter. Why was she chuckling? Because the driver was African American. But as a child of three years, she didn't see those distinctions. What a beautiful world it would be if we could see past all of those things which divide us. I suppose it's unreasonable to expect that we will ever reach a place where we won't pay any attention to race or color, to language or culture, to our choices, to our education or socioeconomic levels, even to the extent of how we worship. There will always be some divisions, but I pray for the day when we will celebrate that we are all brothers and sisters in Christ and that we are all God's children, that God loves us, cherishes us, and I pray that we will work and strive for equality and justice in our community, even if people are bald or have hair. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the innocence of children, which sometimes reminds us how far we have strayed. We pray, Lord, that we would hearken back to your word and strive to be one family in your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.